and I'm recording. Alright everybody. Today was kind of shitty out. Just stopped raining at like 5 o'clock. It's now 6.30. I'm on a notorious road here on Long Island, New York. It's called Mill Road. It's in the town of Riverhead or Calverton. It's uh, through residential, as you can see. And it's one of the more curvy roads on Long Island. Pretty much everything on Long Island runs parallel. You know, north, south, east, west, almost grid-like, even the highways. And uh, this is just an older road. It's got some really good turns. And, uh, some elevation change as well. Um, Long Island's also very, very, very flat. Um, our highest elevation point is, I think, a hundred feet. Don't hold me to it. You can Wikipedia it, Google it. Um, the guy who I'm riding with today is one of my friends for a long time. Uh, I'm in the fire department. He's also in the fire department with me. He, I wouldn't say. <laughs> has more riding capability. I think I have more experience as far as hours go, but he's a little more ruthless. And what I would have to say to any new beginning rider is to take things at your own pace, no matter who you're with. If, if they're out doing you, just let them go. You'll catch up, they'll wait for you. There's no point in going off the side of a road trying to keep up with someone that you know you can't keep up with. It's just, it's pointless. So, go at your own pace, don't feel rushed. Uh, some other advice for newbies is really, 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 like, you gotta look out for sand. Sand is one of the number one, number one killers of motorcycle riders, other than stupid people in cars. But, um, you know, especially on a road like this, you know, you're doing over the speed limit, it's turny, there's blind corners. You should probably be going slower than we are. Um, so look out for sand and stuff. You'll see here like some road work, try to dodge it. Up here there'll probably be a washout at the bottom of the hill where there's sand. Oh no, okay. Next turn there's always some sand. Uh, here's some more road construction, try to dodge that. It's also moist out, so you gotta, you gotta be aware of that. Hopefully you have good tread on your tires. That's very, very important. You only have two, two tires on a motorcycle and you have four in a car. So if one blows out right now, I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. There's no, no other way to put it. You're just, you're fucked. And not only that, if you notice, my buddy, he keeps checking back um, on me after all the, like the big turns of the washout or the stuff. See all this woods too? Uh, we had some big wildfires out here last year, and uh, they consumed lots and lots and lots of Long Island's uh, pine barrens, and uh, as responding firemen to those fires, uh, it's always a reminder as I'm coming through here to, you know, what we've done and what people have lost. Uh, I'm sure you'll see more burnt trees through the way if you look. Uh, this is more dense. <coughs> Um, but back to taking it your own pace and things to look out for and things about Long Island, I guess, is sort of the, the theme of this vlog. It just kind of came to me when I turned the camera on. Um, I personally, I personally don't like to ride in the rain. Um, it's just my thing. A lot of people say... That was a shitty wheelie. Let's see if you can pop another one. Nah. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you're not a real rider unless you ride in the rain. Yeah, well, you're also not a real rider if you're riding around in a t-shirt. But uh, at least I got gloves on so I can wipe my ass if I ever fucking down this thing. That's important to me. Um, wrong about Long Island. Um, Long Island's super congested and uh, 
I know this video isn't showing that, but just wait, you'll see some. Uh, Long Island super congested, and people don't give a frosty fuck about you at all. Um, if you're in a car or a motorcycle, people will push you off the road. Just do whatever they can to really fuck you, and they, they just don't care at all. Um, so you really got to be careful of people on Long Island. Uh, things about Long Island that I like is um, the fact that you could literally be in the city and take a half an hour drive and you're at a farm. Uh, you know, New York City. That's, that's one thing that's really fucking cool about Long Island. Um, like right now we're towards the east end of Long Island. Um, where it's more farm, trees, and just more of a rural atmosphere. Um, I live in a more suburban atmosphere, and 15 minutes from my house, it's more urban, uh, more developed. Um, actually, the first time I downed my bike, I had a lot of people pass me, and uh, no one really wanted to stop and help. I even had two motorcycles pass me, and at first it was a Harley. And Harley guys and street bike guys, at least here on Long Island, really, they don't even wave at each other, let alone, woohoo, coming in hot, let alone stop and um, stop and help each other. And uh, that kind of pissed me off. And then even the, um, the street bike didn't even stop. Luckily, um, I wasn't that bad. My buddy here has a GoPro on, it's a GoPro Hero 2. He doesn't do the vloggy type stuff like I do. Um, and I've, I've been riding with him for two years, if not longer now, and he's had that thing. I've yet to see one video from it. He just, yeah, you know, he'll say, yeah, 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 I'll upload it, I'll upload it, I'll upload it. You just, you never see that footage, ever. Uh, which reminds me, uh, on the trying to expand the channel front, um, I'm getting new mounts. I'm gonna get a helmet mount for my girlfriend's camera just to get some other shots and a, a handlebar mount. And I plan on doing some cool stuff with that. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna say anything about it now, but trust me, different shots. I don't know if they're gonna be vlog type shots. I don't know if the mic is gonna be have a long enough wire, but uh, they're definitely gonna be more of an action shot kind of deal. And uh, as you can see here, uh, we just came out of a suburban rural area and boom, farm. Over the place this vlog. But another thing about riding with, you know, someone is, I guess, um, ride, ride with the same person often. Oh, turkeys. Um, wild turkeys. If you ride with the same person more and more and more, you honestly don't even have to talk at that point. You could just give each other hand signals and... Uh, you know what you're talking about at that point. There are like motorcycle hand signals that everyone knows, but that's more of a Harley thing. Street bike guys kind of just give you like a, oh, go that way, or, go that way, or stop. Uh, also for the for the newbie, if, if you see someone patting their helmet on top, that means that there's cops ahead. Um, um, here's a bunch of horses I didn't film before. Uh, I think I had the camera off. But this is the kind of shit that's cool on Long Island. City one minute, farm and horses the next. Uh, see all the sand in the road? That shit would kill you if you hit that going fast. Anyway. But, um... There's a wheelie. That's an okay wheelie. A little sloppy on the end. Um, the saying is, is that there's only two types of riders. Riders who've gone down, aka crashed, and those who are going to. And uh, I'm a I'm a stickler. I like to keep my my vehicles super clean, uh, almost showroom condition. Uh, see, they waved. Um, I like to keep myself in showroom condition. I always told everyone, oh, I'm not going to be that guy that crashes. I'm not going to be that guy that crashes. Yeah, well, I crashed a showroom condition. Ninja 250, and it fucking burned me. Uh, I was so pissed off at myself, and there's no one else that I could have really blamed. 
it was just speeding and uh, not really knowing my surrounding area. I, I was taking an exit that I've never taken, and a lot of exits here are kind of straight shot exits. They're, uh, you go, they turn left a little teeny bit, and they branch off, and then you have to stop at a stoplight and go, here's all the fire area. Make a left or a right. Uh, you can Google the wildfires. They happened last year, I believe. And I, I was a fireman responding. Um, which reminds me, if you thumbs up this video, if you get me 100 thumbs up, I'll give you a limited brief tour of my firehouse. And uh, I'm not going to mention any names where I'm at, but I'll give you a quick tour and maybe a quick tour of my truck. Um, as you can see, the fire went across the road here and uh, really lit everything up. So, how should I end this vlog? Well, we're getting into the more congested part of Long Island, and my friend here might be doing some wheelies. So, I'm going to leave it off here maybe include some really footage at the end but uh if you like what you're seeing you want to see more i'm getting more mounts i'm gonna have more angles uh, leave a suggestion down in the comments i'll try to comment back uh, rate subscribe you know the whole youtube thing thanks people